hechos de los apóstoles. The role of women in the church is a topic that has been repeatedly raised in the listening sessions for the Synod. Its Secretary General, Cardinal Mario Grech, is well aware of its significance to the church. Had it not been for the participation, active participation, important participation of women in the church, we would not be in this situation. And I have to acknowledge that uh, this with great admiration, no? Because what uh, a woman can contribute with her uh, genius, no? Is something that will be missing if we do not create space for their participation. A further sign of the church's commitment to the issue, women will be among the team that puts together the first synthesis of the Synod's insights. We are going to summon a group of around 24, 30 um, persons coming from different countries representing the different continents and we will stay together for two weeks in a place and together we will reflect, we will uh, analyze, no, we will make, in other words, a discernment in a very uh, spiritual environment. The results of the group's efforts will be published in October. The Synod will then proceed on to the continental phase before the bishops gather in Rome to discuss its outcomes. The final phase will be the Synod for bishops, because after all, <laughs> bishops have to carry the responsibility to guide us no, and to tell us whether our discernment is correct or not, to be more correct in the hands of the Holy Father. The Cardinal says he is particularly struck by one detail he has noticed when meeting with participants in the Synod from around the world. The faith of the simple people. No, they are not uh, theologians no, on, the, on the cathedra no, in, in a university, but they are simple people living their ordinary life, but they have a very deep faith. And they have encountered Jesus. And this is what a synodal church is for, <laughs> to not only uh, refresh this encounter with Jesus, but to be in a position to help men and women today to have this special encounter with the Savior. It's an ambitious goal which is why this long process of listening will continue until October 2023.